Hi, my name's Trudy McDonald. I'm the Managing Director of Talent Code HR. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the importance of having a remuneration strategy and specifically how to attract and retain talent for 2017. Now, in, as you go into the budgeting period and we look at the forecasted wage growth in Australia, we can see that we're looking at 3% growth on average. That's made up of 1.4% inflation and 1.6% real wage growth. So with salary increases that are not going to be looking particularly encouraging to our staff, how do we create a remuneration strategy that makes sure that people are going to be engaged and wanting to continue to perform? So there's two key things I'd like to share with you to help you create your remuneration strategy. The first is to ask yourself the question, do we have a remuneration strategy that rewards performance? Now, the difference here when it comes to paying people is the difference between giving everybody a flat 3% increase, as an example, across the organisation, or differentiating the level of increase based on the contribution and performance that people make. Now, if you do want to create an environment that rewards performance, there's two critical things that you need to put in place ahead of time. The first is absolute clarity around what great performance looks like for everybody in the business. And that means KPIs that start at an organizational level, cascade down to the leadership team, and ultimately cascade down to every single role in the business. So absolute clarity around what it means to be great and what the expected performance is for every role in the business. Now, the second thing that needs to be in place if you want to create a culture that rewards performance is to make sure you've got a really good way of measuring performance. And where the market has shifted is much more towards regular, meaningful conversations about performance and doing away with the old annual performance reviews. So getting those, those two processes right is absolutely critical. Now, the second thing to think about as you look at your remuneration strategy is what is it that's actually going to motivate people to want to perform? Now, if we look at the research done by Dan Pink, we know that money isn't the biggest motivator for many people. However, we know also that we need to get the money right because if people don't perceive that they're paid fairly, it will be all about the money. So with the assumption that people are paid fairly, then we start to look at the mix between financial and non-financial rewards and looking at how our strategy can incorporate both of those aspects into a package that's going to be motivating for the individual. What I find works most effectively is having meaningful engagements with your staff so that you understand what drives them as individuals. And then within the constraints of a system that you'd put within your business, allow the flexibility to reward people either with financial or non-financial rewards so you can really tap into the drivers that drive individuals. I hope those tips help. If you'd like a hand putting in place your remuneration strategy for the coming year, don't hesitate to reach out. We'd be delighted to have a conversation with you.